Hi, I'm Noemi Solier. Before coming to Iowa State University, I was a language teacher for several years. Now, I work as a graduate assistant at the Language Studies Resource Center. In my job, I use my expertise in language learning and technology to identify, review, and recommend effective language learning tools to faculty members. Additionally, I am leading the development of a new language tutoring program in the World Language Culture Department. My experience in both learning and teaching languages really supports Professor Ranali's observation that language learners need to work on developing their vocabulary intentionally. Let's take a look at some examples of technology tools for vocabulary. One simple way of working with words on the internet is to simply search for all the texts that have a particular word. For example, if we work with the word collaboration, we will see what we find if we simply type it in the browser and see what appears. For many words, the first finding from a search will be a dictionary definition, and so the student literally has a dictionary at hand whenever he or she is sitting in front of the computer. Another interesting way to work with words on the internet is to search for images. Again, we typed in collaboration and take a look at the images that we find. There are some really interesting ones that come up for this. Some are abstract work. Here's what we get if we type the word secure. And this works very nicely, of course, with concrete nouns where the images clearly make sense. And particularly for non-concrete nouns that are more difficult or beginning level learners who have a hard time working with the English definitions. If we type the word Dalmatian, we get results that are very clear as to what Dalmatian means. There are results for Dalmatian. These results leave no ambiguity about the meaning of the word when students at any level find images like this. When I was a language teacher, Google Translate was unfortunately often misused by students. As a result, I used to not like using it in the classroom until I realized how useful it is as a vocabulary learning tool. This method of learning vocabulary using Google Translate requires having a Google account and access to Google Chrome. First, students need to install the free Google Translate extension. Next, I am going to pretend that I am a student wanting to learn vocabulary about soccer. I found an article about the 2022 Soccer World Cup final. Now that I have the Google Translate extension enabled, when I highlight a word in the text, I get its most frequent translation and its pronunciation instantly. Ultimate. I can also highlight whole sentences at once, which results in a more accurate translation in some cases and is helpful for understanding a word in context. When I highlight a word, there is a button in the bottom right corner which opens Google Translate in a new tab. On this page, I have dictionary definitions and examples of the word used in context. On the right, I get several possible translations for the word which includes synonyms. If I click on the small star on the right, the word and its translation are saved in my word bank. Whenever I am done going through the text, I can open my word bank by clicking on the big star at the bottom of the page. I can then export the vocabulary list as a Google Sheet document this is extremely useful as I can then import this vocabulary list into vocabulary learning applications, which we will talk about next.